Going to make an art gallery for a doll using a trifold, scrap of paper, recycled paperboard, extra cardboard, paper, acrylic paint, and glue. I start by cutting large rectangles from the trifold, one for the bottom and two for the sides. Cover with scrapbook paper, and I chose to cover the floor with a wood grain, and for the walls, I did brick on one side and white on the other. Then I glue on the side wall and glue the other wall in the middle, making a divided room. I make another one in reverse, so when they are pushed together, it looks like they lead into another room. So I make one more, only this time I make the wall to go all the way across, creating plenty of wall space for our art gallery. And we created a structure that can be repositioned to give the illusion of hallways and other rooms. Cut leftover strips of cardboard, glue two together to make them stronger, cover with paper, glue two squares on the ends of a rectangle to make a bench. Cut recycled paperboard, stack and glue a few together, paint it white to make canvases, where I can cut out and glue pictures from magazines or paint your own work of art and dropping paint on the canvas is a fun way to make an abstract. Use poster putty on the back to hang the artwork on the walls to display art in the gallery. And if we turn the rooms around, add the easel from our doll art room, lay a few paintings against the wall, add a few unpainted canvases, add a work in progress, and our caddy filled with art supplies to make an art studio. Rearrange the boxes again, creating different rooms. Place the benches side by side, add covers and pillows to turn it into a bed. Add household items from previous videos to make an apartment. And you're done. Happy crafting! of color here. You call this art? I could do that. Well then, we should sign up for the art class and put our skills to the test. Sure, why not? It'll be a piece of cake. We want to give a shout out to Noel. What's up? Good. Very nice. Uh might be a cloud. <sighs> Not quite sure yet. 